Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this uh, BMW X4. So from any screen there, you've got nav here, just the uh, bottom one on the right-hand side next to the rotary selector or the iDrive. So we'll click on nav, click on it again. It came up with a map the first time. Click on it again. And you've got destination input, recent destinations, points of interest, or, or, or again, they're, they're the, the map. So we want destination input. Click on that. United Kingdom right now you've got there you've got a, a house or road and then down there start guidance so onto the house one and then it's uh, why they, why they don't just put postcodes perhaps there is a way but anyway so we're Grosvenor Garage Chorley Road Watley Dale Preston PR and then we need to go to numbers so we go to further characters at the bottom, click further characters, PR5, 4, and then it defaults back to letters J, S. So we're Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Watley Dale, Preston, and you've got OK here, so we click OK. It's asking me, do I want to put a street in there, but I just want to start guidance. If you want to narrow it down, then by all means, put a Please street in. The road for 800 yards. So, so that's it. That's how you set the sat nav. Okay, I'll sh just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this uh, BMW X4. So, from any screen, you've got telephone there, and you've got menu. So, if we click on telephone, you've got at the bottom Bluetooth menu. Click on Bluetooth menu, and you've got there Bluetooth, add new device, Barry's iPhone. If I knock across there on Barry's iPhone, you'll see there you've got configure device. I'll, I'll just do that again. So navigate to the one you want and then knock the rotary controller. There's a little sign there. I'm not, I can't tell what it is, but anyway. So knock it, it across to the driver's side if you're in a right-hand drive vehicle. And then you've got configure re device or remove device. Click on remove device. And that's it gone. Okay, I'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio device in this BMW X4. So the first thing we do is make sure Bluetooth is on, and then we're watching out at the bottom here. If you go over to the, your, your iDrive, your audio controller, whatever you want to call it, and you click on telephone, you've got Bluetooth menu there, click on Bluetooth menu, and there you've got, you can either select a phone if there's somebody already in the car, or add new device click add new device you also need to make sure if you can't find any of those just go to that screen and make sure bluetooth uh, it, it, there's a tick in the box so there we go bmw 45337 click on that comes up here compare this with the number on the bluetooth device 581827 that's it click ok and click pair there allow contacts and favorites to sync allow it's now checking the pass key and I think it'll come up with what yes it does with whatever you want telephone one and Bluetooth audio so there's ticks in both those and the tick in the Bluetooth audio is important because that's where it's going to stream audio later so we now need to just turn down to accept and connect and click OK that's it that's it uh, all connected there Right, I'll just show you how to stream audio, and, and this has changed slightly just since yesterday. Apple's new operating system, if I go to my home screen now, instead of saying iTunes, it now says music. So we click on the music, um, that's the record that's playing there. If I click on that, at the bottom here, they've made it hard to see again. It was a red triangle and three red circles, but you see there, you can, you can hardly see it, really. Um, but if I click on there, we'll see there's a tick next to BMW 4, 5, whatever, and not the iPhone. That means whatever audio is playing on my iPhone, so long as you've got it set correctly on the audio system, the sound from your phone will come through the speakers in your car. Right, now then, I've turned it down on here, and I'm going to use this to turn the audio up and down can't play any music for too long otherwise I'll get a copyright strike but here we go to media You've got media there click on media 
and you'll see it there it's uh, it's already on Bluetooth so it's already set to Bluetooth if you just knock that across there you'll see there there's a tick in Bluetooth but if you've got anything else set like you see auxiliary front if that's on auxiliary front when I when I select media I'll just go back to nav when I select media it's showing auxiliary front so I now have to get it to Bluetooth so click to the left turn up to the Bluetooth device you want which is mine there select that it's now playing here I'll turn this up and then I'm going to turn it up on here That's it, that's how you stream audio. Thanks for watching.